Hello, my name is John Chenge and uh, today is the first uh, day of my uh, training for the Tarawera 102 kilometers. It's a uh, trail race through uh, Rotorua in New Zealand. This first week I'm doing um, a bit of a baseline, let you know where I'm at, uh, where I'm coming from and what I'm aiming for. So uh, I guess the first thing is to uh, do a bit of a weigh-in. Um, I'm not sure how I'll go with uh, my weight over the, the, um, the training. So that's 78. I think I'll probably drop maybe um, one kilo a month but um, if I'm still at my current weight uh, come race day I think I'll still be, be able to race quite well so I'm not too worried about that but yeah just letting you know where I'm at and um, I'll also give a bit of a training history as the, uh, the vlog continues. Now one week ago I had my uh, last ultra marathon for 2021 the Heisen 105. I had a um, did not finish in that event uh, after uh, 82, 83k. So um, I've had a week off and uh, so it's now one week since the race. Big break in, in my training and the reason why I did that was to give my feet a chance to uh, recover um, and also I guess the rest of me. Uh, I, I've had some uh, foot issues so what I've had is uh, the front of my feet has been a little bit uh, sore. Um, just after I do, uh, I guess, sessions where I'm doing hard impact on um, pavement, so fast running on pavement for a long time, I get sore the front part of my feet, and uh, I get sometimes a sore heel um, problems with uh, with heels. Um, so uh, by not running for the week, I um, just gave them a bit of a rest, and I was just doing some uh, calf raises most days um, with the, on a, on a step, so I could go past 90 degrees on the way down as a bit of strength and rehab work but yeah apart from that it's been a rest and now um, on Saturday I'm here at uh, Kaipo to do the uh, park run for the uh, first time park run done a fairly long warm-up already uh, first run back been a little bit sore So a little bit of soreness is to be expected after an ultra. I usually um, take about two weeks for the soreness to go away after an ultra. It sort of can feel okay through some runs for a while, but then usually creeps in after about an hour. So today I'm doing about an hour run through my local trails at Sturt Gorge. And what I'm doing today is just cruising along nice and easy. The reason why I like the trails is soft under feet, good for getting a run in while the body's a bit sore still. Before I get into what the training's going to be this week and how I'm going with it, I thought I'd just give a bit more yeah, my athletic history and what you can expect for these uh, vlog videos. So, being the last day in October, it's been 10 months of 2021, so I can have a look at my Strava account and see that the average uh, for each month has been about 450 kilometers in running and uh, about 8,700 meters of elevation in each month. So that equates to a weekly 105 kilometers with 2,000 vert. So averaged out for the year, it uh, includes races. So with races, the distance and uh, vert drops off with the taper and also with the recovery so you can expect that the numbers will be higher than that so it's a fairly elite sort of 
a training regime that I'll be going through. And aside from using the stats from Strava, uh, I'll also be using a couple other apps. One of them is the the Coros uh, app, which um, comes with my watch. So that has a lot of metrics that um, I can use to evaluate my training. And I've also got AIO Vitality, which is a wellness app. Again, keeps track of things, keeps me accountable. I am a self-coached athlete and I do rely on these other little helps. Use technology to help my, my training. I do have some uh, key people that I bounce ideas off, so it's not all um, on my own. But basically my training racing uh, schedule is all up to me. But I do have here yeah, a few key people and I'll uh, introduce them throughout the next few months. Now that, now that I've pretty much coming towards the end of my run through the gorge, give a bit of an update of how the body's been going. The uh, run yesterday I mentioned sore, still a little bit sore today. Hang on, let's climb up over here first. Yeah, apart from a bit of soreness, haven't been too too bad as far as injuries go. The uh, the the shin that I was really worried about through the ultra is fine, hundred percent. So I was really worried that it would be a a stress fracture for how long it had been sore. The shin. But no, that's okay. Uh, apart from that, my heel is still quite tight. It takes a while to warm up. Um, so it's fine now when I'm running, but first thing in the morning, it's quite um, yeah, tight and sore. So that's still lingering, which I guess is to be expected because that was also quite sore uh, during the run. Four foot pain is not too bad. Um, had a bit of bit of puffiness after yesterday's run in the four foot, but that one nowhere near as worried about that as the the heel, which seems to be the only thing that I've got that will be affecting my training over the next uh, while. Anyway, nice uh, Sunday morning run in the in the gorge. So I'm about to head out of the gorge. I live pretty close, at two k's. So this is my go-to local trails. So that's the first couple of days back, and. Uh, I realized that I've already created 10 minutes worth of content, so that will be enough for this vlog, I think. Uh, next one, I was gonna include a full week's uh, training uh, in this first vlog, but uh, I'll do that for next week, run it from Monday to Sunday, and uh, check in each week with how things are going. 
look forward to uh, next time.